What's going on, people? I got up this morning and I signed on to YouTube and I saw a video that the Mayweather Boxing Channel had just uploaded. And it was a video where, in my opinion, they were clowning Young Pharaoh because Young Pharaoh was saying that um, Tyson Fury cheated, which I also believe he cheated because the first video I made I saw the same thing Young Pharaoh saw. I just didn't speak on it. The only thing I said was, they both fought sloppy. Now, there was a time when Tyson Fury hit Wilder in the back of the head, and he hit him with this part of his hand, with his, with this part of his hand he hit him with, right? And he hit him as he was going down. I had to play that back to make sure that I saw what I thought he saw. Now, Jeff Mayweather had some of the boxers from his club. Now he say they professionals, but I never heard of them before, right? And he had them try to replicate that. He tried to have them do, um, to repeat those same results that Young Pharaoh was talking about, but he did it wrong. And I found it quite strange that he disabled the comments where people weren't able to comment. But they were clowning him in their own way. Now they had their hands in the glove, partially in there. They had their fists balled up. That's not what Pharaoh was saying. Pharaoh was not saying that he was punching with his fist. He didn't say that, right? This was a palm strike that he was doing. And another thing too was these so-called professional boxers that was trying to repeat that, they were hitting a heavy bag. Now, of course, if you put your hands in a pair of boxing gloves wrong, you're gonna damage yourself, right? Now, I did a video a few years back when I was in my backyard and I was hitting a tree. I was showing you techniques on how to punch a tree, bare knuckle, right? Because not only did I used to box, I also used to teach martial arts, right? So in different forms of fighting, there's different hand techniques. For example, a boxer only knows how to box. He don't know how to use palm strikes. He don't know how to use his fingers as a weapon. He don't know how to use his knuckles, right? Ridge hand strikes. He knows nothing about that. So when you tell them to replicate what, Wild, what Fury was doing, they can't do that. They're going to only go according to what they know. And if you tell them just put your foot, I mean, put your fist partially in a, in a glove and they're punching on a heavy bag, of course they're going to damage themselves. It's not going to feel comfortable to them because they're not used to it. It's awkward. It's the wrong way to put on a pair of gloves and not damage yourself, right? So what they did was they were clowning him, but I guarantee you, yo, Jeff, Jeff Mayweather, I want to challenge you, man, to invite young Pharaoh to get into the ring with you and demonstrate on you, your face, what Fury did to Wilder, right? Now, hitting a heavy bag is completely different because even if you hit a heavy bag wrong, you can damage your hands, especially if you're hitting the heavy bag, the heavy bag with bare hands or with your, just your hands wrapped, right? Now, I personally used to do that it was a way of me conditioning my knuckles. I would hit the heavy bag, um, especially if it was a canvas bag, right? It wasn't a leather bag, it was a canvas bag. And you know if you hit it wrong, you can, you skin your knuckles up. You know, you can cut up your knuckles. Well, my knuckles across here was all skint up, it was raw. And then it healed itself because I was used to hitting that canvas bag with no hand wrap on or no gloves. Well. I started doing knuckle push-ups. 
I have a tree in my backyard that when it gets warm out, I hit that tree bare knuckle. I start out with my hands wrapped and then I take the wraps off and I use bare knuckles to hit that tree. My hand don't, you know, it calloused up now so it really don't, don't cut, it toughened up. So for you to have these so-called professional boxers put the gloves on and then hit a heavy bag, it's gonna be awkward to them. And of course, if you sit there and try to do bag work with those gloves on wrong, you're gonna damage yourself, man. But if you allow Pharaoh to put that glove on, like he was demonstrating, like he was really demonstrating, and you stand there and let him hit you, right? Like he was demonstrating, I guarantee you it would either knock you out or do some severe damage to your face, right? So if you get palm strike, he was palm striking this dude, man. His fist wasn't balled up. Now, if he had to hit him like that, um, if you hitting somebody in the face, man, and you got them gloves on and it's not, and you palm strike them, it's going to do some damage to them. And I guarantee you, if you get in the ring and let someone, if you really want to try to prove that theory, let somebody hit you in the face with their hands illegally in those gloves like Tyson Fury had. Don't clown young Pharaoh, man, because we all saw what we saw. We saw that. Not just young Pharaoh. We all saw that. But when Young Pharaoh made the video and broke it down and slowed it down, it was a lot easier to see that Tyson Fury did not have his glove on all the way, which was illegal and he cheated. You know he cheated. But you're playing boxing politics, right? You're protecting yourself, right? Your reputation, you don't want that to come back on you, man, because you know it will cause a big stir, right? So. Don't clown young Pharaoh, man. They clowned the dude, man. They got on there and they had these young dude, these young people, which um, they said they were professional. Um, I don't know much about them. Maybe they're professional locally where they live or in that gym, but I don't know too much about them. I don't know anything about them. So for them to put those gloves on and be hitting the heavy bag, of course you're going to do damage to your hands doing that way. But... If you know how to cheat, like Tyson Fury, right? If you know other forms of martial arts or fighting styles, and you can get away with that, of course, a, it's going to be blind to a boxer. He may see like, well, he didn't have his glove on all the way, and I don't see how he can do that. Well, you don't see how he can do that because you're not used to fighting like that. You're not used to, you used to doing things the right way like you were taught. You're not used to cheating. So to somebody that's unskilled, you say they're professionals. But for somebody that's unskilled and don't know any other forms of fighting, of course, it's going to be awkward to you. It's going to feel awkward. You're going to think like, oh, one dude said, you know, well, it gives you good range. Another dude said, you know, like, well, okay, yeah, I can see that, but I can hurt my hand. And you hit the heavy bag. Of course, if you hit the heavy bag, man, with your hand, you're going to hurt yourself. But try to hit somebody without any type of head protection on and see the damage that you do. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.